hundreds of restaurants open in Britain every year, but over two thirds close in the first 12 months. The Walnut Tree in Abergavenny has been one of Britain's most famous restaurants for nearly 40 years. Set in beautiful Welsh countryside, it's the proud holder of a coveted Michelin star. It owes its outstanding reputation to this man, Franco Teruccio. He was one of the first celebrity chefs. Three years ago, Francesco Mattioli, another Italian, bought the walnut tree. I know him well. He's managed some of London's best restaurants. I need an answer, guys. So he should know what he's doing. I've come to find out how, in just three years, he's managed to mess it all up. How are you? How are you? All right. Man, you're losing weight again. No, huh? I'm not losing weight. What's the smallest numbers you've done in three years? Is it? Is it for lunch? For uh, dinner once. It was a Thursday night. And um, Michelin star. Michelin star, and it didn't happen. Simple as that. Shit. And uh, yeah, that was bad. Every kitchen just has to have a head chef running it. Since Francesco lost his, he's been trying to do the job himself. It's uh, one of those little, I'll take this. Are you going to serve it? Yes, because... Jesus. <laughs> cook, serve, cook, serve, cook, serve. It's a big mistake. Francesco is not a trained chef, and he shouldn't even be in the kitchen. Keep on going. He should be out in the dining room, charming his customers. Hello. I don't know how you, all right? After all, there are more staff in the bloody kitchen than there are customers in the dining room, and not one of them seems to be doing anything. So you're just cooking potatoes here? Yeah. This huge section, potatoes. and all you're cooking potatoes. is spuds. Yeah. No. You're out of order. Yes. Can I say uh, Francesco doesn't trust anyone to do anything. Right, Bill, on 11 and 12 right now. Octopus. That's another three, you said. Ciao. Lovely. All Thank the best. Thanks. Thank you very much. After you. Thank Talk you. about a headless chicken. Bye. No wonder he's lost weight and customers. You're working like a donkey. I mean, you're here, there, everywhere, and, and, and trying to run it. Overall, you're the, the most amazing host. You can charm the pants off anyone, um, and you, you can sell good wine. And the short period of time I've been in here today, uh, one thing you know, I've come to terms with is you've got to get out of the kitchen. The Walnut Tree got a Michelin star after Francesco had been here for a year. That's given to a restaurant on the back of the consistency, the freshness of the ingredients, keeping it seasonal, and the individual flair of the chef. But Francesco's lost the chef who won the award. If the standards have slipped, the inspectors will soon take away that precious Michelin star. Time to check out the food. Because I um, saw lunch today from the kitchen, um, I'm going to go in the dining room now uh, and have a, a bite to eat. And I'd like you, not to present the menu, but to show me three dishes, what represents the walnut tree in. With a Michelin star, you can charge top-notch prices, but only if you provide top-notch food. I'm pretty confident he's like it. Porcini and Palm Ham lasagna was always a favourite here. Boy. Very boring. You've got to move on, you've got to search and you've got to evolve, develop and, and create excitement constantly when you're charging these prices. Main course, fish stew. Thank you. But the mussels haven't even been cleaned. We serve mussels in a self-contained stew. Yeah, they've got to be clean, because when you're serving like this, you can hear at the bottom, there's a lot of grit and sand. So it's just like eating a bowl of clay, seasoned with sand. That is constantly grinding between your teeth. 28 pound a main course, and someone taking the mickey. Because if someone served that in my restaurant, I'd go fucking berserk. <laughs> OK, um, I asked you earlier for your best. The best, the best of Wales. The big build-up was for the classic Italian fish stew. And sadly, when it arrived, everything in that dish was overcooked. And while you piss off for a three-hour break to style your hair and to have a kip, clean the fucking muscles. So we've hit rock bottom. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the real world. Sure. Tomorrow, we're going to pick ourselves back up and start off with a clean slate. Yeah, because I've been called you here many a times. So let's get over to bullshit. I can cook. 
Joe.